Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me about how the ice conditions look on Lake of the Woods. Uh, it's springtime, ice is melting, but a lot of you want to know if you can get out to go fishing, if you can get to your cottage. So I went out and I did a little mission yesterday. Uh, I put my drone up, got some cool drone shots, and then I'm also going to match that up with some maps, uh, a couple graphs, and then I'll show you a few websites on where I get my information from. So if you're itching to get out on the lake, this video is going to be for you. Okay, so I'm just going to jump right into it here. We're starting on the Kendall Inlet Road, Kendall Inlet Boat Launch, looking at the eastern side of Clearwater Bay. So on the bottom of the screen there, you can see there's some really dark gray ice, and in the background in Clearwater Bay, there's some more white, uh, thicker looking ice. Starting to see in a few places, um, the ice is separated from the shorelines. You can see where the old ice road was. That's where the ice road was. And then as we come around, back into actual Kendall Inlet. In the back of the bay, it's completely open. But in the middle, there's still a good amount of ice left. Again, that's all the gray stuff. So it's really rotten, and if any wind starts to blow, it's gonna break up very quickly. But still hanging in there. So next we're going to Rush Bay. So this is off the Rush Bay Road at the boat launch. I just put the drone up here, and you can see, for the most part, it's open water. There's a few ice chunks floating around still, but for the most part, it is free and clear. And I got a little higher here. In the back, you can see there's Tarwegan Bay, and right at the mouth of Rush Bay is where that ice starts again. And then come around to, we're looking at Echo Bay now. Again, you're seeing some more of that white, thicker ice that hasn't, uh, really rotted enough yet. This stuff isn't going to be impacted as much by any wind happening. So a lot of the predictions were saying it was going to, you know, by this weekend coming up, April 20, 25th, 26th, was when the ice was going to be completely free. I'm thinking you're more midweek uh, next week. You're looking at more of like the May 1st, May 2nd, for you to be able to drive a boat around anywhere you want. So after that, I came back to town. In the very background is the city of Kenora. So we're looking at Lilypad Bay, Kuwaitan Channel, uh, to our right would be Second Channel, the Yacht Club stretch is right in the foreground. So most of this is open. All the ice that's left around here is very dark and gray, you can see. So by this weekend, that'll all be gone. I took this footage yesterday, so that was April 22nd. Today's the 23rd. I would imagine this really gray ice would be gone by either today or tomorrow. And then you're just going to be left with trying to knock down that white or clear stuff that we're looking at in, uh, you know, Echo Bay and Clearwater Bay. That's going to last a little bit longer. So I'm turning towards, this is Kuwaitan we're looking at now. And in the backs of the bays, there's a, a bit more ice. But you're going to see the contrast of this a little bit better when I jump into the maps. Um, and then when we get to the Ice Patrol website, Lake of the Woods Ice Patrol website, we're going to compare some maps and some graphs that are going to give us a pretty good idea of when this ice is actually going to be completely out and when you're going to be able to go to the, to the cabin, get out in the boat to go fishing, you know, do whatever you want to do. So where I find all my information is the Ice Patrol website. So just Google Ice Patrol Kenora. It's called Lake of the Woods Ice Patrol. Let's go on there. We're going to take a look at some graphs from... April 20, this post is from April 22nd. It was actually this image that we're looking at is from April 21st, 2024. So you can see, uh, in contrast to the drone footage that we got, there's, you know, a lot of, looks like rotting ice here in Clearwater Bay, Echo Bay. It, it all looks very dark. You can see the Chul Lake is frozen. You have a lot of ice through the Manitou section of Lake of the Woods, but Looking down to the south end here, this entire bay, like Big Traverse Bay, is completely wide open. There's a couple pieces hanging on here on Big Island, Bigsby Island. Uh, Little Traverse still has ice on it, but um, over here in Nestor Falls, if it's not completely open, it looks pretty close. And then Sioux Narrows is obviously ice covered, but a good amount of it is uh, pretty rotten and dark. So from there, we're going to scroll down here a bit. We're going to find some photos. You can see just how light this ice looks in the background here. That stuff is gonna hang on for a lot longer than down on the bottom here. You see how it's a lot more gray, dark, especially when it's sunny, the sun will really attack this ice and get rid of it first. 
Well, like I said, going down, um, just gonna take a look at this graph here quick. The 2024 Lake of the Woods ice thaw forecast, uh, the required thaw index was 100. I don't know what that number is, but that's what was predicted to be. And right here on April 22nd, we passed that, but obviously there's still a lot of ice. So based on the forecast and whatever number this is, obviously that wasn't enough. So we're looking probably closer to the 150 mark happening on April 29th with the predicted forecast to be the day. So there's one more that I wanted to show you guys if I go down far enough, this one here. So this is the inflection of thaw calendars. So these are all the years leading back to 2023 that we have data of on this website, showing the inflection date being the uh, mean daily temperature above zero, meaning that there's more hours in the day above zero than there are under, meaning that there's more uh, thawing happening than, than freezing. So this year it happened on April 2nd and then predicted, they said the 20, you know, 24th to 30th, somewhere in there is gonna happen. Um, last year we're looking at April 9th is when it happened and then our actual ISO date was May 13th. Coming back down to, this is a really short year, April 22nd to May 9th, that was 2020. So you see, so you can see as a little bit of a trend, the later the inflection date, the shorter the ice out season is, it's just compressed a lot smaller versus a year like 2021 where it happened on March 4th, which is crazy. Uh, it's a lot more drawn out because obviously the average temperatures for March are gonna be a lot colder than leading up to this April 24th versus April 22nd, leading up to May 9th, when you have a much shorter thawing season. Uh, this year is kind of right in the middle, pretty average year, like right in, literally right in the middle um, for all these other dates. But the ice out date should be somewhere a little bit, you know, below average, like less than average, which is which is awesome. So we're gonna have a an earlier year for sure. I just wanted to show you that, to show you some contrasts, but, Going back up to the top here, this is from April 22nd. Now I'm gonna to go to the MODIS website, MODIS Lake of the Woods. And it's through the University of Wisconsin-Madison. So today, you can see out there's all these tiles. Right here is Lake of the Woods, so I just gotta click on this tile to get in closer. And then I'm gonna go 250 meters it's going to get us the closest that we can to get a good image and then now you can see all of this so going back here there have it this is the false color helps you see the ice a little bit better so i'm going to go to false color it's going to highlight what's left actually it doesn't so we're going to go back to true color kind of eliminate a lot of that ice so you, if you look really closely like shoal lake still has ice on it for the most part, but it's very dark. Same with the Little Traverse, there's still a bit kicking around, but it's all very dark. Within a day or two, that's all gonna be gone. A couple icebergs hanging around here on Big Island, Bigsby Island. Um, but then in the Manitou, like all of this stuff went super dark. Sioux Narrows is super dark. Looks like some bays are opening up. Nestor Falls looks open. Um, but I'm gonna focus here quickly, like town is pretty well open and the drone shots were from yesterday, April 22nd. Uh, today's April 23rd. I'm gonna focus here. This is the Kendall Inlet where our first drone shot was. You can see White Partridge looks pretty well open, same with Corkscrew Channel. But you can see a little light piece of ice here in the eastern side of Clearwater Bay that we were looking at. It looks a little bit lighter. Uh, that's gonna hang on a little longer, but I was saying before this, like May 2nd, May 1st was gonna be the ice out date. Based on the progress we've seen in two days, I think it's gonna be a lot sooner than that. So I think by you know, Saturday, um, good chance you're gonna be able to drive around out here. Uh, obviously there will be icebergs left to contend with, but you will be able to, for the most part, get out here. Uh, same with you know, Big Stone Bay, Storm Bay area. Um, you're gonna be able to go out here in your boat, in my opinion, on Saturday but you will have to be careful of icebergs. So if you can hold off for a weekend, you know, come out next weekend, 
whole lake's gonna be ice free for sure. But if you're hardcore and you wanna go fishing or you wanna go to the cabin, you know, this weekend, uh, there's a good chance you can. So Clearwater Bay, you should be okay. Big Sun Bay, you should be okay. There's some heavier stuff hanging out, like in the center channel, uh, Ptarmigan Bay side. Um, so that might be a little tougher, but as far as actual clear water proper goes, um, around the Rush Bay, Echo Bay side, you know, White Partridge, Corkscrew Channel, you are, you're looking good. And then obviously this stuff here, this is Big Narrows, this has been open for a while. Uh, down through here, this is called the Elbow, that's been open for a while. These are all just current neck downs, and then obviously here, starting is where the dams in Kenora, you know, neck down a lot of the water. and that's open most of the winter too. So a few areas hanging on, but for the most part, it's uh, it's almost ready to go. Thanks for watching this all the way to the end. Uh, sorry for getting a little nerdy on you, but my ice out prediction, like totally for the lake is, I'm gonna say is May 1st, maybe May 2nd, somewhere in there for it to be like completely gone. You can drive anywhere. But if you, like I said, if you're hardcore, you wanna come out this weekend, um, good chance you're going to be able to do that. So I'm going to give you guys another update tomorrow, just a quick little one with the drone, um, get a few shots, show you some progress, and let you know if it's going to be a go or not for the weekend. So thanks, thanks for watching this all the way to the end, and I will catch you at the next one.